Lord's with thee, bless this fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, as now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Second glorious mystery, the ascension. Jesus ascends into heaven 40 days after his resurrection. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins and save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Third glorious mystery, descent of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit descends upon Mary and the apostles. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, as now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Fourth glorious mystery, the Assumption. The Blessed Mother is united with her divine Son in heaven. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, as now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Fifth glorious mystery, the coronation. Mary is gloriously crowned, queen of heaven and earth. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins. Save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those most need thy mercy. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, our mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious advocate, thine eyes of mercy toward us. And after this, our exile is shown to us the blessed truth of thy own Jesus. O Clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, the Holy Mother of God that we may be made worthy of the promise of Christ. Let us pray. O oh God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us rewards of eternal life, grant we beseech thee that by meditating on these mysteries of the Most Holy Rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, that we may imitate what they contain and not take what they promise. Through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. May the divine assistance be always with us. Amen. May the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of Almighty God rest in peace. Amen. Our Lady of Lebanon, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. There will be no mass books today. We don't have any mass books out. So to direct your attention to the two screens on either side of the, of the altar, and all the prayers, everything will be on the, two, on the screens. Okay? Thank you.
Christy. salvation and 
return to the Father to prepare the place for us, so that we may be where you are. You taught us the way to the place where you were going and told us to follow you. When Thomas asked you, we do not know where you are going. How can we know the way? You answered, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Now, O Christ, our Savior, we ask you with the fragrance of this incense to walk with us on the way that leads to the Father. Turn our eyes toward him, strengthen our desire to be with him and guide our steps that we may reach the Father through you and with you. We praise you, your Father, and your Holy Spirit forever. Let's keep 
Descend upon the reader and the listeners, and upon this parish and their children forever. Brothers and sisters, in the first book, Theophilus, I dealt with all that Jesus did and taught until the day he was taken up, after giving instructions through the Holy Spirit to the apostles whom he had chosen. He presented himself alive to them by many proofs after he had suffered appearing to them during 40 days and speaking about the kingdom of God. While meeting with them, he enjoined them not to depart from Jerusalem, but to wait for the promise of the Father, about which you have heard me speak. For John baptized with water, but in a few days you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit. When they gathered together, they asked him, Lord, are you at this time going to restore the kingdom to Israel? He answered them, it is not for you to know the times or seasons that the Father has established by his own authority, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, throughout Judea and Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. When he had said this, as they were looking on, he was lifted up, and a cloud took him from their sight. While they were looking intently at the sky, as he was going, suddenly, two men dressed in white garments stood beside him. They said, Men of Galilee, why are you standing there looking at the sky? This Jesus, who has been taken up from you into heaven, will return in the same way as you have seen him going into heaven. Then they returned to Jerusalem from the mount called Olivet, which is near Jerusalem, a Sabbath day's journey away. When they entered the city, they went to the upper room where they were staying. Peter and John and James and Andrew, Philip and Thomas, Bartholomew and Matthew, James, son of Alphaeus, Simon the Zealot, and Judas, son of James. All these devoted themselves with one accord to prayer, together with some women, and Mary, the mother of Jesus, and his brothers. Praise be to God always. proclamation of life and salvation for our souls. Remain silent, O listeners, for the Holy Gospel is about to be proclaimed to you. Listen and give glory and thanks to the word of the living God. Jesus said to his disciples, Go into the whole world and proclaim the gospel to every creature. Whoever believes and is baptized will be saved. Whoever does not believe will be condemned. These signs will accompany those who believe. In my name, they will drive out demons. They will speak new languages. They will pick up serpents with their hands. And if they drink any deadly thing, it, it will not harm them. They will lay hands on the sick, and they will recover. And then the Lord Jesus, after he spoke to them, was taken up into heaven and took his seat at the right hand of God. But they went forth and preached everywhere. This is the truth. Peace be with you. Welcome. 
almost everybody back. I hope to. I, I hope soon, very soon, we will have everybody will be back, and we will meet with no restrictions, with no masks, with no, with nothing that will not going to see separate us because we were never separated. Although you were far, we were. You were looking at us from the screen. I was. I speak for Father Joseph Deacon Thomas, the Deacons, and myself. We know. We know you were present. You were always. Whenever we stepped on the altar to celebrate the victory, you were in our prayers. I'm thankful and grateful that I never. I did not hear about anyone who got sick or who got hit by the virus or any of that. And I thank God for that. I pray that all of you stay healthy. Please stay healthy. It's not. I'm not going to say it's over or not over. Hopefully it will be over soon, but uh, keep safe, stay healthy. I'm thankful for each and every one of you for the support during these two months. Uh, like I said, you were from, we were from behind the screen, but uh, we received so many calls. Thank you for that support. We knew that there, was, there were prayers coming, not only our way, everybody's way from everybody. Thank you for that. And the financial support that you provided to the church during this time. I know that everybody felt and knew that the church need, needs them. Your church needs you and you know that and you stepped up for that. Thank you, I appreciate that from the bottom of my heart. The, I always say the only way I can repay all of you, whether you're here today or still behind the screen, is to pray for you. My gratefulness for you, I can, I can never repay you for that. And uh, like I say, I am lucky, I am blessed to be the pastor of St. George, and thank God for that. A quick remark regarding communion. We have said that communion will be received during this time, at least during this time, in the hand. And uh, some of us, why in the hand, why not on the tongue, I'm not going to go into that. Receiving communion in the hand is an old church tradition. It's a very old church tradition that for and you can explain that later, but for one reason, the church went to the communion on the tongue. The Roman church decided that to give the option either on the hand or on the tongue. We find it in the church writings and the church father's writings. And since, I think it's in Senate of Jerusalem, it speaks about receiving communion in the hand, opening the hands like a cross, and making a throne, a throne for the King of Kings, who is Christ himself, that is coming to sit in your hand to receive, to, to, to be received in the communion. How to do that? When you approach communion, first and foremost, remove your mask. Do not get close to the, do not come to communion to receive a communion with your mask on. It will be hard for you later to remove your mask with the host in your hand and to receive communion. Remove your mask, receive communion, then put back your mask. Open your hands and stretch them out. The right hand on the, th the, the, the right hand, uh, the, the left hand on the top of the right hand, I'm losing my words, on the top of the right hand. When we place the host in your hand, take, the, the, take your right hand, remove the host and take it. Do not try to just reach out to me to take it from my hand. I will not do that. I will place it in your hand. You're receiving communion. You are not taking communion. You're not biting him. You're not, you're not snatching him. You are receiving him. We're receiving communion. So it would be placed on the hand, you take the right hand, and you, re you take the communion. Make sure that you remove your mask before, try not to put it in your right hand, because it would be hard for you, again, to take the, the host from your hand, it may fall, we don't want that to happen. Try not to have your keys or your rosary or something in your hand, because also it will make it a little bit different, a little bit difficult. So when you approach communion, you open our hands, right hand on the top of the right hand, the left hand, we receive communion, we take it, and we put it on our, on our mouth. Hopefully, that will be over again also soon and we will go back to the way we used to do things and to the way our tradition does things that we have, the church has to accommodate. Let's talk a little bit about the Ascension of the Lord. Today, we celebrate the Feast of the Ascension of the Lord. And, and for some, they think that when Jesus ascended into heaven, that is the end. That was the end for the disciples, that is the end for everyone. In fact, you being here today, it's not the end for everyone. In fact, it was the beginning of the, for, for the disciples, for all of us. It is true that Jesus, the, his physical presence, he is not there in body with his, with his disciples, with everyone. But by him ascending into heaven, he is more present with each and every one of us. 
He walks every day with us. He walks every day with us. And more than that, he sent us the Holy Spirit. So, this, so his spirit can lead us, can guide each and every one of us. That's what, what Jesus did. And that's what he's doing for us every single day in our life. He commissioned us. He commissioned his disciples before he ascended to heaven. He told them, go make disciples. Go bring people to me. Go preach the joy of the gospel to the world. So today in the, the world that we live in, we live in a funny world, in a different world, and a sometimes in a horrible world and, and the meaning that is sometimes negative toward each and every one of us. How to live the ascension, what to do in the world today, and how to make sense for the ascension. Two simple words, keep looking. I will tell you today, invite you today to keep looking. You will tell me for what? First, keep looking up for Jesus Christ. Christian life is like a marathon. We are running, we are in a race. The letter to the Hebrews say that we are laying aside everything that hinders us and the sin that so easily entangles us. Let us run with perseverance the race that is set before us. It continues, how to do that? Let us fix our eyes on Jesus Christ. He is the author and the perfecter of our faith. When Jesus ascended into heaven, the Acts of the Apostles tells us that the disciples were looking to the sky. They were looking to the sky, they were in wonder. What's going on here? What happened? What just happened? He was here, he's not here anymore. And the angel told them, you look into the sky, look for him. You fix your eyes on Jesus Christ. Sometimes we spend our life looking, looking out, looking out for things that happen around us and we try to be careful. We keep saying now, we, we, we're looking out if there's anybody less than six feet uh, distance between us and them. This weekend we celebrate Memorial Day. Lots of people on Memorial Day, I was going to say, they sit in the sun, it's sunny now, but they're telling us the rain is coming. So hopefully it will stay sunny to enjoy the weekend. But lots of people on Memorial Day, they look back. They look back to remember the sacrifices that the heroes did for us to live in freedom, for the world to be but what it is today. But we as Christians, we do not look out. We do not look back. We look up to Jesus Christ. We fix our eyes on Him. We look all the way up to Him. He is the one who gives us salvation. He is the one who makes us perfect, who makes our faith perfect. When we, when, when we do not do, know where we are going, look at Him. He is the way. When we do not know in whom to believe, look at Him. He is the truth. When we, do not, when, we do, when we doubt if we can make it or not, and lots of us, during this time that we lived before coming back, that we lived through during this, the last two months, what's going to happen? What, well, we, we don't know what's going to happen. Look at Him. He is the life. He is the only life for each and every one of us. He ascended into heaven, but in His ascension, and that's the mystery of the gospel, that's the truth of the gospel, he walks behind, be, 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 uh, before us, he walks beside us. He takes our hand and he's walking with us. He has given us, the, the, he is the way, he has given us the truth and the life. In his ascension, he is always with us. And he said, I am with you always. I will not leave you. I am with you always until the end of the time. So in that marathon that we live in our Christian life, if we fix our eyes on Him, if we put our eyes on Jesus Christ, we are going to make it. We are going to be the winners. The second thing to look for or to look to, keep looking into the Scriptures. The Gospel says He opened their minds so they, they can understand the Scriptures. The roadmap for our faith is in the Bible. The roadmap, not only for our faith, the roadmap for our life is in the Bible. We take the Bible, sometimes we take the Bible for granted. Sometimes we try to understand it the way we are. Sometimes, sadly, we have it at our home, but it's only a book on the shelf. It's only a book that's, that everybody has. Hey, everybody has the Bible, I have to have the Bible. Everybody opens the Bible, that's their problem, not mine. Everybody wants to open the Bible. I need to be the first one that opens the Bible. A Bible that has 
uh, danger is missing from it that, have, that is torn, if we can say, it, it, it's survival that is, that, that is being used, it means it is a life that is well lived. If you want to look, I came across this today, and I think this is, it's not, I think it is accurate for the Bible. What is the Bible? It is the basic instruction before leaving earth. Basic instruction. And if we live according to that, like the race, if we fix our eyes on him, we will win. If we live according to what the word of God, if we let the word of God talk to us, talk to us, if we let the word of God change us, we are going to be winners. We will win that race. And the third thing to look for or to look at or to look into, keep looking for ministry opportunities. The, the Acts of the Apostles said, Jesus told his disciples, you will be my witnesses in all Judea, Samaria, until the end of the earth, and he ascended. I was reading a commentary about the ascension, and the person who did that, he was saying that the thing, everything that, that's in the Bible, everything that talks about Jesus Christ, the thing that presents a struggle for that person is the ascension of the Lord. And he asked the question, he says, why didn't Jesus clean up all the messes of the world before he left? What was he thinking when he left that when, when he left it all up to us? If Jesus had stayed on earth, he could have answered our questions, solved our doubts, mediated our disputes of doctrine and policy. Instead, he disappeared in the clouds. How out of God to do it like that? But really, he left it up to us. The, the, the Saint Mark tells us that the disciples did not see it like that, did not see it something that, that there is something odd with God. What Mark said, and they went out and proclaimed the good news everywhere, while the Lord worked, worked with them and confirmed the message by the signs that, that accompanied uh, that. They were filled with the Spirit of God, and they went and they preached the gospel. They were filled with the Spirit of Christ, and they left the place of fear, the place of failure, failure, the place of doubt, the place of disappointment, and that then they went and proclaimed the joy of the gospel. He really left it up to each and every one of us, because each and every one of us has a mission. Each and every one of us is an ambassador to Jesus Christ. We are to be his feet, we are to be his eyes, we are to be his hands, we are to be talking through it. We are to, to let him talk through us, and we are to bring people to him. We are to bring the world to him. We are his ambassadors, and there are many ministry opportunities that we can benefit from. If you tell me, I don't know where to start, start at home. Start at home. We say, and I always remember that, we say charity starts at home. Evangelization, ministry, is like charity. It starts at home, then goes outside, then goes everywhere else. Look around us. There, there are many strangers that need to be welcomed. We can minister to them. There are many souls that need to be saved. We can pray, minister to them by praying for them. There are many prisoners, many sick, they need comfort. We can minister by praying for them, by comforting them, by visiting them. How many people are looking for the chance to be baptized or to be confirmed? How many poor, how many widows that need somebody to assist them? And we can be ministering to them, we can be doing that. So brothers and sisters, on that feast of the ascension, let us keep looking up. Let us keep looking to Jesus Christ. Try to understand, let, let him, through his word, talk to us and go and preach the joy of the gospel to the world. Amen. We believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, all things visible and invisible. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us men and power of salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit 
he was incarnate as a virgin Mary and he became then. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven, his sin is at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead. And his kingdom will have no end. We will believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who in the Father and the Son is the Lord and glorified, who has spoken from the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Especially Mary, the Blessed Mother of God, St. Mary, St. George, St. Shiger, St. Rafa, St. Namtala, Blessed Stefan. Remember, O oh God, the children of the Holy Church, our fathers and mothers, our brothers and sisters, both the living and the departed, especially for whom the sacrifices offered your nomi. Remember also all those who share with us today in this offering. Amen. <laughs> Christ, 
and may the Lord of peace be with us. Amen. O Lord, may your peace and security and your true love and divine mercy be with us and among us all the days of our lives, that you may raise glory and thanks to you now and forever. Amen. O Lord, we bow before you and ask you to look upon us with mercy. Make us worthy to approach your holy altar with pure hearts and holy souls and bodies and we raise glory to you now and forever. Amen. Amen. The love of God the Father and the grace of the only begotten Son and the communion and the dwelling of the Holy Spirit be with you, my brothers and sisters, forever. And, and with your spirit. Let us lift up our thoughts, our minds, and our hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord with reverence and worship him with humility. It is right. Truly it is right and just to glorify and praise you, God the Father, for you are holy and the giver of life. You are blessed with your only begotten Son and your living Holy Spirit. You are surrounded by the cherubim and seraphim, who sing with pure voices and heavenly melodies. They cry out, glorify, and proclaim. Children receive your graces 
We thank you for them and because of them. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We profess our faith in you and we ask you, have compassion on us, O oh God, have mercy on us. How awesome is this moment, my beloved, for the living Holy Spirit descends and rests upon this offering for our sanctification. Let us stand with reverence as we pray. Nimorion, 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 Vitemor Hohayo Kadisho, Nagena Laima Kurbono Bono. So that your blessed name may be glorified in us and in all things through the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. And your living Holy Spirit now and forever. As it was, as now, and shall be forever.
sacrifice who offered yourself to your Father. You are the high priest who offered yourself as the Lamb. Through your mercy, may our prayer rise like incense, which we offer to your Father through you. To you be glory forever. Compassionate Lord, may we, your holy servants, may we be made worthy to pray with impurity and holiness, and to call upon you praying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Yes, O Lord, lover of all people, deliver us from the evil one and from his deceitful ways. And do not forsake us, lest temptation overcome us. For yours is the kingdom with your only Son and your Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Peace be with you and, and with, with your spirit. spirit. Bow your heads before the God of mercy, before the forgiving altar, and before the body and blood of our Savior, who gives life to those who partake of him and receive the blessing from the Lord. O Lord, bless your faithful people who bow before you. Deliver us from all harm and make us worthy to share in these divine mysteries with the purity and holiness. That through them we may be forgiven and made holy and raise glory to you, now and forever. Amen. The grace of the most holy trinity, eternal and consubstantial, be with you, my brothers and sisters, forever. And with your spirit. Let each one of us look to God with reverence and humility and ask him for mercy and compassion. Holy gifts for the holy, with perfection, purity, and sanctity. One holy Father, one holy Son, one holy Spirit. Blessed be the name of the Lord, for he is one in heaven and on earth. Give him be glory forever. Make us worthy, O Lord God, that our eyes may be sanctified by your holy God, and our souls purified by your forgiving blood. May our communion be for the forgiveness of our sins and for your life. O Lord our God, to you be glory forever. As I mentioned before, communion will be received in the hand. Father Joseph and myself will be giving communion in the center, and uh, Deacon Tom, Deacon Joseph will be giving communion on the sides. And the ushers will guide you for communion.
those who are not able to attend Mass today and are watching us from home, we pray the act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Again and again we thank you, O Lord, and raise glory to you for giving us your body to eat and your living blood to drink. O lover of all people, have mercy on us. But the only announcement we have, the entrance that you use to enter the whole church is uh, designated as an exit. And if you want to exit from the side through the courtyard, you may do that as well. Uh, please stay safe, please stay healthy, and may God bless all of you. We thank you, Lord God and Father. And we ask that this divine communion be for the forgiveness of sins and the glory of your holy name and that of your only Son, and of your Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Peace be with you. And with your Spirit. Lord Jesus, our God and Savior, you became flesh for our sake, and by sacrificing yourself, you saved us. Deliver us from damnation and make us temples of your holy name, for we are your people and your inheritance. We glorify and honor you, your Father and your Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Amen. After the final blessing, if you remember, in the beginning of the month of May, we dedicated and we consecrated the parish to Mary. Month of May is dedicated to Mary, so at the end of liturgy, we will play a old traditional Maronite hymn with the best of the item of Mary uh, together. Those who know it, please, it's going to be in Arabic, but those who know it, please join us and pray with us uh, for Mary, the mother of God. Go in peace, beloved brothers and sisters, with the nourishment and blessings you have received from the forgiving altar of the Lord. May the blessing of the Most Holy Trinity accompany you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, the one God who will be glory forever. Amen. I meet you in peace, O Holy Altar. I will return to you in peace. May the offering I have received from you be for the forgiveness of my faults and the remission of my sins. And I stand without shame or fear before the throne of I do not know if I shall be able to return to you again for another sacrifice. I leave you in peace.
عشان مش مش عارف هلا عبن ان شاء الله ان شاء الله ان الله 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 Thank you.